Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to Legends of Breath of the Wild. So now, we have the ancient gear complete. Uh, we need to get some more stuff for it for upgrades. Uh, I might just go check what I can upgrade currently. And then we're probably going to head over to Hyrule Castle to try and get some parts. Okay. Let's go check this now. Guess that's it for my break. Okay. What does the pup Baron armor want? Lana horn and hoof. Um, I could do that a little bit. Oh, looks so like I can upgrade two of these. Let me try it. I probably want to try one of those, but let's see. Ancient spring and ancient screws. That will work out really well for the ancient gear, so I can do that. Oh. Just going to upgrade. Barbarian helm as well. As well. Mm. <laughs> okay, let me see what the level after that needs. Hoofs and Lionel Guts. Oh my goodness, more Lionels. I guess that's okay, only upgrade the Barbarian Armor as well. Oh, ah, I probably should have done the other one. That's fine. It's done now. Okay, um... Got Ancient Greaves. Okay, there we go. I've also got the ancient or the diamond circlet, which has the same kind of effect. And apparently, same level of defense. Which is interesting. And it doesn't require the same stuff, so that might also be good. Uh, if we upgrade that a little bit more than that. Uh, also, I just want to quickly, quickly check. Oh, you can actually upgrade the sand boots and snow boots, but it requires Octrock Tentacle and Hightail Lizard and Hightail Lizard and Molduga Fin. So a lot of Hightail Lizard is what you need for those, which is prob problematic. Let me see what else I could upgrade that I wasn't expecting to. Can't upgrade that. Well, th that's, about every <laughs> that's about everything. Okay. Let's... Oh, what do I need for the next level? Ancient Gears, of course. Mm. I think I spent some Ancient Gears on the Ancient Greaves. Or... <laughs> What's the other one? I can't remember what I'm talking about. The Ancient Chorus. I think. So I need more Ancient Gears, and... Ancient cores and shafts. Ancient springs are alright for now. Huh? Guess I'll upgrade the diamond circlet as well. The radiant armor isn't that much... It doesn't have much use now that we've done the dark area. Unless there's any Koroks there, of course. But anyway, let's head over to Hyrule Castle. And if I can get some more uh, Korok Seeds, I might be able to increase my slots so that I can get some more weapons before finishing the game, if I need them. There's probably a lot of weapons just in a Hyrule Castle that we can get when we actually finish the game. Oh my goodness. So many things. So many things. So many things. Why? Walk around for two seconds and then things sh show up. <sighs> Speaking of things, here's some more. How did you not shoot me? Hang on. I need to switch my thing. Oh, there goes my shield. Ah, that's what I hate about trying to deflect their beams, is you just lose shields so fast.
Oh, pain. Pain. And I'm wearing my best armor right now. But I was low on health anyway, so that's the reason why I'm so low. There we go. Take that. Oh my goodness, he lit my torch on fire. Hang on. There we go again. It should take three shots to just defeat them. There we go. It takes some amount of skill to actually deflect the beam back. Oh, and he dropped a giant ancient core as well. That's good. Oh, that's gonna activate. Yeah, that is definitely gonna activate. Let me see if I can get past without it activating. That's a bit doubtful. Arrow Castle Town Ruins. There's also that one over there that I need to take out in the ground. Possibly. Oh, that one activated? Oh, cool. And the one behind me has seen me. Cool, great. Oh, pain. I nearly got that one. Try again. Focus mode. Ow. Nearly. Nearly again. I'm going too late. Or too early. There goes my shield. Oh my goodness. Maybe it would be good to have some more shield space and then go pick up some really bad shields just because you can deflect with any type of shield. Okay, I'm gonna just see if I can take you out without a shield maybe. Oh, I'm gonna die. Uh, let me equip another shield so that I can lose it. I don't really want to do that though. Having the Rook's protection would be good right now. Because Daruk's protection just automatically ref reflects. Okay, broke off its leg. Tentacle thing that makes it easier to take out. Weapon's gonna break faster on a guardian. Oh my goodness. I think the extra. Just basic shields is probably a good plan. Oh, he just dropped a lot of stuff along the ground. Just gonna do that so I can get a lot closer. Go, go, go! Ow! That's, that didn't do any damage, I don't think. That's good. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Slow down. Also, apparently that means he doesn't know where I am after that. So that's another good thing to keep in mind, I guess. Is stasis them so that they don't know where you are after they unfreeze by moving around them. Okay, I'm gonna head up here if I can. Careful not to be seen by that Guardian Stalker. Oh, hey, Korok. This is what I was trying to get, but also this is not what I was trying to get. Hang on, let me go up a bit more. What's that sound? Is that... Guardian, or is that... I don't even know. Hang on. Can I climb this? Or can I not climb this? I guess I can't climb this. Maybe it's the music that's just... humming at me. Guess that makes sense. Let me get this Korok. That's why I came up onto this wall. And apparently it looks like the Malice walls that I took out earlier are back. Probably because of a Blood Moon, which is unfortunate because that means I can't get rid of them permanently. Grab that. I wish I could keep moving. That's a shame. Also, I forgot to run my my tracker, so I'm gonna have to get that running and then remember to update it. 
Oh, really? You had one job. And that was to stay dead. Go, 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 go. Okay, um, running out of weapons. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of weapons. <laughs> Take this. My torch broke, I know. Oh my goodness, I'm running out of weapons for sure though. It might actually be good a good idea to bring out the Master Sword so I'm not wasting weapons. Since the Master Sword actually does recharge, and it does seem to take a lot of durability. It can take out um, Guidance without having to worry about it breaking and having to recharge for large amounts of time. So much malice in the air. It's not even a blood moon. It can't be a blood moon because it's the middle of the day. We do have a few ancient arrows if we need them. Let's see how this is going to go. Might be good to have stasis on the ready. Here we go. Hyrule Castle takes two. Or part two. That didn't last. It did help a little bit though. Don't shoot me like that. Oh my goodness, and there's another one that spotted me. Just run. Okay. Just get up, get up, Link. You've got a lot of defense on your side. Which is helping a lot. Oh, the malice wall over there is back. So you really just have to redo everything when the blood moon happens, I guess. Which is unfortunate, but that's okay. So, let's find out where we need to go. There we go, get over here. Guess I can take its boomerang and its shield, since those are actually useful at the moment. That's blocked off, right? Yeah. It's unfortunate having to re explore this area. Is there anything behind here? Probably a weapon. And I, I'm okay with weapons. Oh, it's a treasure chest. I'm pretty sure I already opened this. Ancient arrows. Oh my goodness. If that just keeps respawning, I get lots of ancient arrows from that. That'll be good to keep in mind. Although I don't... I can't actually pin in Hyrule Castle. Oh dear. Are those silver? They are, so they're the really good bad ones. Come on, do your damage. Oh dear, this is not good at all. Take this. Okay, grab his stuff. Just because it all counts at the moment. The roof's protection is now ready to roll. Ready to roll. Good, because that's gonna be useful. Grab some of these weapons here. Shield. Rusty shield is fine because I can still use that. The only disadvantage to having Druid protection and wanting to keep it for longer time, longer amounts of time, is that you can't. Uh, target your enemies. So you don't waste it. Well, that seems to be working out fine. Please. Please. There we go. Give me your gemstones. And I guess I... Do I need to do anything with that? No, I can just walk in here and get this treasure chest. Na shard of Nadra's Fang. This shard fell from the blue spirit Nadra's Fang. It's much harder than any metal. 
So it's impossible to process, yet rumors say it ha can be used uh, as a material for something. But I don't know what material... Like, I don't know what it could be used for, unfortunately. Um, do these targets have anything in them? No. Nothing around them either. I was wondering if there might be a Korok for shooting them, but no. Definitely not. Also, this guy has a good sword. Have I taken a picture of a Silver Moblin? Not yet. There we go. That's a great picture. Very great picture. Now, this isn't exactly the good type of weapon to be taking him out with, but I am just need to use them so that I'm not wasting them. Ow. And it's a good thing I have this 88 defense right now because it's really showing itself with its uses. Come on. So close, and there we go. Let's take a picture of this weapon since it's really good. Rural Guards Claymore. The Sheikah used this uh, the very essence of ancient technology to forge this great sword. It was designed to oppose the Calamity, but its low durability made it impractical in battle. So unfortunately low durability, but it's very strong. Very strong. There's also some more weapons over here we can grab, like this Royal Claymore. Rusty Claymore and Rusty Shield as well. Oh, I can't carry any more shields, that's good. I mean, like, that's not good, so I can't grab any more, but also that's good, so my, my, I know that that's full at the moment, so I don't have to worry about running out of shields for a little bit longer, fighting guardians or anything else like that. Savage Lionel Shield, we've already seen one of those before. Um, it might be good to grab that. I do, I'd like, I don't want to waste good shields. So, bad shields are good, but also... Good shields are still good shields, so... Okay, let's keep exploring and probably get out of this place. There might be some Koroks that are difficult, difficult to get in this room. Let me see what I can do. Okay. Is there anything up here? There's... Oh, some really good stuff. Because there's a falcon bow here. And there's some treasure chests. Silver rupee. Bomb arrow. Let me... Um... Great eagle blow. Uh, Forest Dweller's bow is... Shoots five arrows, but they're not very strong, I guess. I'll drop that. Sadly, I don't want to drop it, but it's for... Oh, that's actually not that strong, but it has a good range, and it's got durability up. Durability up is going to be very useful going forward, I think. Just overall. I need to, um, I need to put this onto the thing, don't I? That's fun. Hopefully this doesn't explode or anything. Okay, let's keep going. Back on the inside. I think because we're inside of Hyrule Castle and there can't be a blood moon in here, I think that means that once, if you stay in the castle and you defeat things, it means that they can't respawn. Probably, so. Let's take this thing out. This tar turret. Oh, it shoots twice. Multiple times. Many times. Come on. Come on. Oh my goodness, please. What shield have I got equipped? Good. This one's one I can use to deflect if I need to. Except this thing's about to be defeated anyway, so that's fine. 
Uh, it would have been good to actually have more meals prepared. And I can find another cooking pot and then start making some more good meals. Um, I'm not gonna eat that. Grab some more ancient gears. How many ancient gears do we have? 14. That's a good start. And we can get some more from these guardian turrets as well. I could try using some ancient arrows to take them out faster. But for now, I think we're alright. Take that. Master Sword is running low on energy, and the Master Sword has run out of energy. So it's now gone. But if we go to our inventory, this is actually the first time this has happened because we haven't used it much. It's now got 10 minutes to recharge and does nothing because we can't equip it. So, doesn't even tell us how good it would be if it did, if it was usable. Anyway, this thing's done. Let's grab all those ancient gears. Now we have 19 of those. Let's head over this to get the other one. Oh, it's raining now. Oh, please go up. Link, why? Link, why? Just use Revised Gale. Even though I don't really want to. This guy took a lot of damage from Obosis Fury before. Which is good. Now let's do some more damage. Um, hang on. keep using the low damage weapons for now. Ow, pain. It's fine. Just keep shooting me. It's not doing any damage. Stasis. There we go, he's defeated. They will respawn though, when a blood moon happens, if we leave. So for now, let's actually keep going through this gatehouse. And see if we can get some better stuff going. Okay, we have a, a blue main Lionel in this gatehouse that we need to defeat before we can continue. We don't actually have to go through the gatehouses, and we can leave this guy here, this blue main Lionel, but I want to do it anyway since I need more Lionel parts for other things as well. Oh my goodness. I guess I can use something strong against him. And there are Royal Claymores that respawn in different areas as well, although if I use the Royal Glade Guards Claymore and do a lot of damage with that, that would also be good. Hey sir, can you like attack me in such a way that means I can dodge, like, perfectly and then fly rush you with this super strong weapon. Thank you. You're, you're too kind. You really are. So kind. Yeah, this weapon is gonna break soon. There it goes. Do it again. No, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, that. That's better. I don't know how that counts as a fly rush, but okay. You weren't even swinging at me. You were just... Af it was just after you swung at me. Oh, get up, Link. Oh, wow, that was fast. I just used that. That's surprising, actually. That that... That Revali's Gale is already back. Maybe it's just charging faster here because of the pillars or something? I wonder what, what that is, actually. Maybe it's based on attacking things as well, and, like, damage, maybe? I have no idea. Oh, burning. <laughs> burning. Burning. Don't do that. We're not done yet. Okay, 
Dodge. Dodge again. And let's see if I can finish this in one go. Probably not. He has a lot of health left compared to my weapon's attack. Oh my goodness, how am I still alive? How did I not get hit? Okay, there's also... Uh, one of those malice enemy spawner things. Okay, he's done now. Even a bit of overkill. Apparently. Let me get rid of that if I can. So you can actually still get these heads taking pictures of take pictures of these things even without the divine beasts I guess which I, I guess is good but anyway this gatehouse is complete and we get a treasure 10 bomb arrows that's good we can use that probably I also used that fairly recently let me just quickly climb on top of this building because I think if we go up here we can actually get some stuff yeah, there's a treasure chest up here. With some, some more bomb arrows in it. Man, this place is so... Cool. Hyrule Castle is just... It's got a, a beat to it. And the music. And it just makes it even better. Now, is there anything up here? Yes, there is. Let's grab this Korok, because there are Koroks in Hyrule Castle. Mark that off if I can. Did I mark it off? I hope so. Maybe. Hope I didn't mark too many just now. Let me jump off of this. Now we could go up that ramp there. To keep moving that way. Which is actually probably a fairly direct route up. Uh, and this area over here is covered in malice, so I guess I have to do that. It's the way the game wants me to go. There's also through this uh, other area over there that I could do. But I think I will go up for now. Or maybe not. I don't know. I need to actually get up to the main part of the castle. Which I'm about level with right now. So I need to find an entrance probably. Oh, hello. The roof's protected. Now ready to roll. Hang on. Let's just do that. And then let's do some damage. Oh, but it, my thing broke. Come on. There we go. Oh. Just gonna grab all those. Let's keep heading up. How many ancient gears do I have? 24. That's pretty good. Okay, we are inside now. Which I'm quite happy with. Oh my goodness, you just stole that from me. How dare you. Oh, hang on. Calm down. What's, what happens if I build up Energy, not much. Okay, cool. Flurry rush. Looks like there's a book in here as well that I want to have a look at. Okay, do this, please. Ow. I had my defense up, and you still hit me. Do some damage. Ow. Another silver moblin, which is good because it means he's going to drop some uh, minerals for me t to collect. There we go. Edge of Duality. Also like the subtle Zelda's lullaby in this song. Read Zelda's diary. Another one, apparently. After meeting with the champions, I left to research the ancient technology. But nothing of note came t of my research. The return of Ganon looms, a dark force taunting us from afar. I must learn all I can about the relics so we can stop him. If the fortune teller's prophecy is to be believed, there isn't much time left. Ah, but turning over these thoughts in my head puts me ill at ease. I suppose I should turn in for the night. P.S. Tomorrow my father is assigning him 
as my appointed knight. I set out for Goron City today to make some adjustments to Divine Beast Farudania. I still recall feeling his eyes on me as I walk, walked ahead. The feeling stayed with me so long, I grew anxious and weary. It is the same feeling I have felt before in his company, and still, not a word passes his lips. I never know what he's thinking, it makes my imagination run wild. Imagination run wild, I think I said that weird. Guessing at what he is thinking, but not, uh, but will not say. What does the boy chosen by the sword that seals the darkness think of me? Will I ever truly know? Then I suppose it's simple. A daughter of Hyrule's royal family, yet unable to use sealing magic, he must despise me. I said something awful to him today. My research was going nowhere. I was feeling depressed, and I told him repeatedly to not to accompany me. But he did anyway, as he always does, and so I yelled at him without resist uh, restraint. He seemed confused by my anger. I feel terribly guilty, and that guilt only makes me more agitated than I was before. I'm unsure how to put today's events into words. Words so often evade me lately, and now more than ever, he saved me. Without a thought for his own life, he protected me from the ruthless blades of the Yiga clan. Though I've been cold to him all this time, taking my selfish and childish anger out on him at every turn, still he was there for me. I won't ever forget that. Tomorrow I shall apologize for all that he has transpired between us, and then I'll try talking to him. It's a link. It's worth a shot. Bit by bit, I've gotten Link to open up to me. It turns out he's quite a glutton. He can't resist a delicious meal. When I finally got around to asking why he's so quiet all the time, I could tell it was difficult for him to say, but he did. With so much at stake, and so many eyes upon him, he feels it necessary to stay strong, and to silently bear, my, bear any burden. A feeling I know all too well for him. It has caused him to stop outwardly expressing his thoughts and feelings. I always believed him to be simply a gifted person who had never faced a day of hardship. How wrong I was. Everyone has struggles that go unseen by the world. I was so absorbed with my own problems I failed to see his. I wish to talk with him more and to see what lies beneath those calm waters. To hear him speak freely and openly. And perhaps I too will be able to bear my soul to him and share the demons that have plagued me all these years. Father scolded me again today. He told me I am to have nothing more to do with researching ancient technology. He insisted that I focus instead on training. That will help me awaken my sealing magic. I was so frustrated and ashamed I could not even speak. I've been training since I was a child and yet... Mother passed the year before my training was to begin. In losing her, I lost not just my mother, but a teacher. Mother used to smile and tell me, Zelda, my love, I will uh, be well in the end. You can do anything. But she was wrong. No matter how I try or how much time passes, the sealing power that is my birthright evades me. Tomorrow I journey with Link to the spring of, of power to train. But this, too, will end in failure. Such is my curse. I had a dream last night. In a place consumed by darkness, a lone woman gazed at me, haloed by blinding light. I sense she was not of this world. I don't know if she was a fairy or a goddess, but she was beautiful. Her lips spoke urgently, but her voice did not reach me. Would I have heard her if my power was awoken? Or was my dream simply a manifestation of my fears? I am sure I will know the answer soon, whether I wish to or not. I turned 17 today. That means this is the day I will finally be allowed to train at the Spring of Wisdom. When Link arrives, we will set out for Mount Lanayru. The other champions will accompany us there. I have not seen my father since he last scolded me. 
Things are too strained now. I will meet him with him when I return. Actually, I've had a horrible feeling ever since that weird dream. No one would believe a failure of a princess, but right now, for no particular reason, I am filled with a strange and terrible certainty that something awful is about to happen. Wow. That went over a lot of the things that we've seen in our memories. But anyway, I guess with that, silver rupees. I guess that is it for this episode. So, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.